Get a better on here. And I'm here with Australia, Australian boxer and international boxing prospect Mark Zamori. I'm just going to take a couple minutes of uh, his time. Uh, he's, been, he's been good enough to join us and we're going to have a couple, ask you a couple questions. Mark, I just want to ask you how was the whole English experience? How was that for you? How was you went to England, you fought David Hay, you fought in front of a crowd of 20,000 people. What was the whole experience like for you? Uh, I hate England. London is cold, it's miserable, the women are ugly, the place is expensive, <laughs> and then I got knocked out in one round, so I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> well, well. So you're not a big fan of England then, by the sounds of it? I wouldn't live there unless I was desperate for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Even if I, if I won the fight, I'd, I'd enjoy it a lot more, but still, it's, a, it's not a place to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now so, I mean, Tell, tell us, I mean, so you, you didn't have, you know, you did not, now, now, I can understand, I've spent just a couple of days here in, in, in Croatia, in Split, and in, in uh, Regoznica, and I, I can tell you right now, it's incredible, it's spectacularly beautiful, and little wonder, now, Mark, you're living here in Split, is that right? Yeah, yep, I've been living here for five years now, I really enjoy a beautiful climate, Wow, and, uh, it's, being in Europe is a lot better for boxing than Australia, more happening. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me, tell me. Um, now going forward. Now that's the past. Now what's the future? You've come back. You've had two wins. You've, you've, you've had two wins. Tomorrow you're fighting another fight. Everyone's back to you for the win. Um, where's the Where's the future for Mark Tamori regarding boxing? My first goal was just to have three fights. See how I feel. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I don't need the money. I'm not coming back because I'm broke or I don't have anything else in my life. But I enjoy it. I'm enjoying the training. I take it seriously, but I'm having fun with it now. And whether I try to go to the top or, or not, I'm not sure yet. It's fun again. Excellent. So tell me, are you a better boxer now than you were before? Do you think you're, you're a better boxer through the experience that you've been through? You're you know, fighting in front of the massive crowds and everything else. Do you think you're a better boxer? Mark DeVore is a better boxer today? Uh, mentally, I'm the same, but now I don't train like everyone else. I train what suits me. I've got more energy, I've got no injuries. I was just burnt out before. I was always injured, I was always sick of boxing. I hated the sport, took some time off enjoying it again, and um, beautiful locations. Uh, yeah, I, look, I didn't enjoy it the way I should have. I didn't save at the moment. I didn't. I always just looked at it as how much money can I make, what do I have to do, I've got to train. Beautiful places now, traveling around and, and making sure this time I have to remember to enjoy it. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Well, things are going well for you, you're doing well. Um, now, how are you feeling for tomorrow's fight? Are you feeling ready? Yeah, I trained really hard. I didn't train as hard as I have before, which is actually a good thing because I didn't overtrain, I'm not injured. Mentally, I'm happy. I'm actually looking forward to fighting and I have fantastic. some nerves. I don't have nerves, I know I won't be any good. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, where's your direction regarding, I mean, recently there was a fight in, uh, in England, you had Chisora, you had White, you had all these guys. Are you looking at those guys or are you looking down another route or what's the plan for Mark tomorrow? Well, right now, I'm in boxing oblivion. I'm not well ranked, no one really cares, but I'm getting to big offers. Money is great, but that's not, it's not something that I really need. So you are, you are getting offers? Yeah, getting big offers, big money. Right now I said, I'm gonna fight, try and enjoy it. Uh, the money's not the point anymore, I'm enjoying it. I've got other ways of making money, money comes to me easily. The point is to enjoy it and try and savor it because it was always a job before, now I'm enjoying it. Are you with the same management people? Can you can tell us about your management? Michael Barreo, he's in America, he manages uh, Charles Martin, he used to work with Shannon Briggs, David Tua, guys like that. And He's really honest with me. He's told me which fights are coming by, and, and uh, yeah. All right. I, I don't get too excited by it. I just enjoy it. That's how I'm doing it now. It sounds, it sounds like Mark, you're enjoying boxing again. It sounds like you're. In, it looks like you're in fantastic shape. It, you know, it looks like you know, good things are happening. You're doing well. You're loving life here in Split. And um, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, man. And um, all the very best for tomorrow and, and beyond. Last time you interviewed me, I got knocked out and sent to hospital. So. <laughs> And the no, end. I'm convinced, I'm, gonna, I'm convinced it's going to be backwards. Mark Demore is going to win by knockout tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> we're going to hope, hope for that. So see what happens. Uh, yeah. Champion. Champion. Cut.